I don't know about you, but sometimes my TBR has an existential crisis. Hi, I'm Amanda and you're watching The Reading and Writing Life. I am having problems with my TBR and I think it's because I am trying to branch out into things that I've never read before. And so I'm just having a problem. <laughs> I'm having a problem and I don't know who to go to for help. Everybody wants to be super helpful when I say, hey, do you have a suggestion of a fantasy book series for me to read? Do you have a suggestion for any kind, anything? If I ask the genre, I get all kinds of suggestions. The problem is, how do I know when to read those books? Like, how do I know where to put them in my TBR. I'm having the worst problem with this, and I'm sure that it's probably because I'm overthinking it, but I have some ideas, and I want us to look together at my TBR. Okay, this is my old TBR list, how it used to be. So I would take a chunk of books, and I would put them all in alphabetical order. You can see I've already read A to E. We're on the Fs right now and it goes down to, to the end right here. And then there would be a space in here. I would put some breaks in there. And then I would just start adding new books. So like as people gave me recommendations or as I saw them somewhere, like right here, I must have read an article about a bunch of middle grade new releases that were coming out. And so I wrote them all down over here. It just was random how I added them on, but I would just add them all down here. And then once I finished reading these books, this alphabetical list, right, that comes all the way down here and stops at the W's. Once I finished that, then I would take all the rest of these, which I'm just gonna quickly scroll. All the rest of these, I would take and put them in alphabetical order and start all over again. And when I got to the end of this list, then whatever new ones I had added on, I would put at the top in alphabetical order and start over again. My problem with that, well, there are a couple of problems with that. Number one, it takes a really long time then for a new book that somebody suggests to finally make its way onto my like alphabetized and ready to read TBR. That's one problem. The other problem is that it doesn't allow for any kind of spontaneity. So if somebody wants to do a buddy read or if I hear about a book from somebody and I think oh I really want to do that or now that I'm doing readathons if something pops up that fits in a readathon or if a, a readathon itself pops up I am allowing no room for flexibility in my reading life I guess and so I know that there are people who are mood readers and I guess I'm just the super opposite of a mood reader so what I have decided to do is I have made a new sheet. This is my new TBR. All I've done is I've taken, I've just added a new thing on here that's for the genre. And then I have put them in groups with their genre. So we have fantasy, we have fiction, we have historical fiction, we have a tiny bit of horror because I'm a scaredy cat. We have a lot of middle grade, we have a lot of mystery, we have a little bit of nonfiction, a whole lot of romance, some sci-fi, some thriller, and some young adult. So I have taken the entire list from the other page and I have broken it down into genre on this page. Now, what I'm thinking I might do is do some kind of spinner or some kind of game or something for my TBR and spin for different genres and then it'll pick the genre and I can randomly pick a book out of there. So that is one way that I'm thinking about doing it. Another way is I want to finish some of the series that I'm reading that are finished. Like if they have all the last books, I would like to be on the last book. I would like to be caught up with the ones who are con that are continuing on. So I also think that I'm gonna have like a running list of series that I'm reading and I will just continually read one the one book in the series, the next book, you know, so on and so forth until I get to the bottom and I have all of that. So that means that I'm gonna have a randomized genre kind of TBR. I'm going to have a series 
TBR, like that I'm working on for my series. And then, but then that's going to leave me open for readathons and buddy reads and other things that pop up that I can just say, well, I'm going to read these in addition to the things that are on my already made, created TBR. So June is the first month that I have like created a TBR and there's a video about that. So I will link that above if you haven't seen it. But that's the first time that I sat down and said for the month, this is what I would like to read. Usually, as you can see, I have a really long list. So usually I finish a book, I just go to the next book. If it happens to be the end of the month, it's the end of the month. Like that's never really mattered to me. I do tally up and do my totals for pages read based on the, the month, but I've never cared like, oh, I finished that book this month or I didn't finish it or whatever. That's never mattered to me. But moving forward, I average 25 to 27 books a month, something like that, 30 books if it's a, a really reading heavy month and 25 if it's not. So somewhere around 27 books a month is probably what I average. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my TBR at 20 to 25 books is what I'm gonna pick and lay out for myself in any given month. And then that leaves me a little bit of wiggle room if I want to switch things up, if I get, like I said, a buddy read from somebody, I will put that in there. But I just think that that's gonna be the best way for me to go forward. And so I'm thinking about making some kind of marking in here where I can tell that something is part of a series. And maybe I'll make a note out to the side like Jade City. I know that it is part of a series by Fonda Lee, but I'm not sure if it's like a duology or a trilogy or something. And so I could just put that out there in the notes section. And then uh, that could be on my series TBR list. I don't know I'm still working this out and if anybody I just noticed right here <laughs> that I have Robin Hobb on here twice for the same series I guess this is a series it says book one right here so I'm going to remove it <laughs> from this one up here and there we go so there's one last book on my TBR so that's probably not the only ones that's doubled up because as I've noticed Quite a few people in booktube talk about the same books like if somebody has read that book then probably somebody else is reading that book i know that a lot of the book of the month club books get talked about a lot on here and i'm not a part of that i'm not planning to be a part of that i'm trying not to buy any books um for the most part not any physical copies of books unless i get in like half price books or something like that then i will but for the most part i'm not so i think that this is going to be my plan for how I'm going to do my TBRs from now on, I don't know. If you guys have a way that you do it, I would love to hear it. I just want to know. Now, if you're a mood reader and you never follow follow your TBR, then I don't really care what you do. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But if you stick to a TBR that you create, I want to know what your process is about it. So let me know and let's talk about TBRs. I think that they're great and I love mine and I love that I always have the next book ready to go and something else ready to read. And so I would like to know how yours goes. So as you can see, I'm really trying to work on my TBR and the crisis that I'm having with it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button and the bell so you won't miss anything that's coming up next. I will see you in my next video and until then, bye.